Hello and welcome back to Tesla News. My name is Marion and as always I'm bringing you up to date today with updates from Model X, Model S. We will look into the FSD FUD more crash news of California and I have news from Australia virtual power plant and Giga Berlin and first we will look into the Cybertruck here guys. Really excited to see the Cybertruck driving around the Austin factory and I would like to ask you in this uh, situation do you think that we could see based on the development we have here um, maybe the Cybertruck and the Model Y ramp up happening at the same time or do you expect the Model Y ramp up happening first so um, let me know what you think if this could actually happen or if you think that they will partially open this factory as they did in Shanghai I really like to know your opinion on that and based on that guys we will start looking into more news because of course it is not only the Cybertruck but first one picture we have the Cybertruck parked inside the factory so this is a really nice teaser here for all of us waiting for the Cybertruck and I think you all from the states especially who have ordered the Cybertruck can't wait to see it being produced and coming to deliveries. Um, talking about deliveries guys um, we do have actually some delays um, when it comes to the Model S and Model X. So um, the story behind that is that in Q1 we saw that the Model S and Model X weren't ready yet but at some point we expect it to be um, yeah it's that it's going to be ready in Q2 but on latest reports we do see that it looks like that we won't see the Model S and Model X in Q2 because people that ordered um, really really early when it was um, possible for the new Model S and Model X the earliest date that they have is September and we do have more um, news that October is the one that most people get so that would mean that the delays are eventually going to um, move the entire production of the Model S and Model X back to October September and as I haven't seen any more news of people that uh, ordered even earlier that they would receive the Model S and Model X earlier than September it looks like that they still have to solve some issues here Elon mentioned that even online on Twitter that they have to do some final um, design changes and it might even be because of the pure vision um, maybe they have to change that for the um, FSD and they have to change that um, based on the changes we might see soon with the FSD update. So please let me know what your thought is about that. Do you know anybody who ordered a Model S or Model X or maybe you did already and you have more news about that. So let me know what your thought is about these delays. So talking about this yeah, not so positive news that we have further delays. Um, we also have to go into this entire discussion regarding the FSD and I must honestly admit uh, it's really really sad to see so much stuff happening so much negative news about the crashes and the FSD but before that we will look into some positive news regarding the Giga Berlin because looking at Giga Berlin guys they are now um, having helicopters um, starting to uh, putting up the chimney on the uh, on the roof um, they got all the permission to do that and on Wednesday we had some more news actually coming that are now out in the newspapers that the local government um, personality um, Steinbach who is in charge of um, yeah commenting on all the news um, regarding Giga Berlin has again said that there won't be any delays their delays are not happening so he expects um, early um, autumn or late summer that the production in Giga Berlin starts so this is the timeline we have nothing has changed so far we do uh, know that at the beginning we expected some sort of production already maybe earlier in the summer but this didn't happen but we are not going to have late delays till next year. So again the time frame is still late summer early autumn that is the timeline we are looking at 
and I do expect this actually to happen because Steinbach is a personality who has no interest in delaying that. Looking at the picture you just saw, that is a great example to come to the next topic. This is a guy who had a um, Tesla, got caught by driving in the back seat. The Tesla was um, yeah, confiscated and now he bought a new um, Tesla and is now driving in the back seat again. And this is making me really angry and I don't think what, I don't know what you think if you feel the same, but it makes me really angry that there are few people out there that really drive, drive everything crazy and is um, giving a lot of people out there misconception about the FSD and what is possible. And Elon has mentioned so many times that you cannot sit in the back seat and let the car drive. And just people like this um, make it so, um, make the FSD much worse than it is because you can use it if you use it based on the guidelines that Tesla is giving you. But these people that um, create publicity, um, that give a lot of media the chance to criticize the FSD about the safety issues and people misusing it. And this is really making me angry because I think this is stopping the um, yeah, evolution to self-driving cars. It is slowing it down because regulators will say, well, we have to do something to stop people like him and others to do the action they have to do there. And I, I hate that. So please let me know what you think about that and what we could do for all these people abusing this FSD. Furthermore, we had a crash on the 5th of May in California. And this is again, more news that I don't like because now normally the highway patrol like in Texas is not issuing any statement and they now in California issued a statement saying that on the 5th of May in the crash happening that there was autopilot involved. Again, guys, we don't have any paper. We don't see anything. They don't offer us any um, proof of that. Um, and we have learned from the Texas issue that later on it was proven that the autopilot was not on. So please let me know what you think about this because this is just getting crazy. This misinformation everything regarding the FSD in, in the latest weeks. I am getting really confused. What is the strategy behind making this technology so bad when people are not properly using the FSD as Tesla has stated? So please let me know down below and some great news coming from um, Australia. Further installations, five kilowatt hours of solar and 13.5 kilowatt hours of power walls will be done for the virtual power plant in South Australia. So they are continuing doing great work down there. So if you did enjoy my video, please do consider subscribing and I hope to see you back very soon. Take care guys.